So tell me about um, how you came to Memphis. Well, I was on a cross-country trip, and I was going to go to L.A., but I got to Memphis on Sunday, and I just went to Beale Street and heard the blues, and something inside me just told me to stay here. And so, you know, I ended up finding a place to stay. Ended up, you know, just putting out roots in like a really short amount of time, just like four or five days, really. Yeah, so. And where did you come from before you were in Memphis? I am from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. So is that where you came from? Like you were leaving Winston-Salem yes. and on the way to LA and stopped yep. in Memphis? Yep. So what, What's been happening since then? What was your first, after that night, or when you were on Beale Street, what was your next move? Um, well, once I had a place to go, and I, uh, you know, a good, like, safe environment, I guess, um, then I was just at the library, and I saw an ad in the flyer for Memphis Music Foundation. And, yeah, I, like, I decided to, you know, just walk over there and check it out. It turned out that this is exactly what I needed. Like, um, I couldn't have really asked for anything more, really. Like, I meet so many people here. Um, it's just like, like the best thing ever. <laughs> well, tell me about some of the stuff you've been doing at the foundation. Um, well, I, besides like networking, um, I, do, I started doing a press kit. Uh, I have a CD now. Uh, I met my manager. Um, I met all these people who work at the Music Foundation. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's just getting, getting stuff done. Have you been gigging around? Yes, I play probably like five or six shows a week. So compare, you know, in terms of how much you're playing now, what your musical life is right now, to what it was when you were in North Carolina. All right, well, basically, I was in a very bad situation 